so admire poets that get up here and spit from memory. I can totally see that when that's done, when those lofty heights are reached, when that elusive goal is fully, satisfyingly met, that there is a much deeper connection with you, the audience. I've thought about it a lot. I've stressed about it a hell of a lot. <laughs> Memorizing to perform, to perform minus that barrier to eye, co to eye contact. To wax poetical, sublimely lyrical, satirical, sometimes cynical, aspire to the oratorical miracle when words are like a shot in the vein, a platter of soul food, a healing balm for those subdued, misconstrued, a trigger finger firing straight to that soft spot, a bigger, better, exponentially greater, artful experience, taking it to the next level. Straight from rapid firing synapses, through fast moving lips creating syntax with no net, no safety harness, gaining credibility on this stage without reference in this page. And the scores are much higher too. But seriously, are you fucking kidding me? Do I not have enough to do without having this added stress? It's a fucking miracle I'm up here in the first place. I only started doing this to encourage my daughter to get and do her thing, and she gives me this attitude like, if you think it's so fucking awesome, do it yourself. <laughs> well, she is 16. So I did, and I have, and I will, and I'm here. But do seriously, do I have to start memorizing poetry? And thanks a fucking lot, feminism, and I am a feminist. But I didn't think I would end up doing it all, doing everything. I breastfed, calm nighttime dreads, put band-aids on boo-boos, built IKEA beds, kissed and cuddled confusions away, changed the fan belt, hired a jigsaw and installed laminate flooring, decorated from baseboard to ceiling. Maya, I think that should be a B flat in that chord. Jack, read that again and think about the tense you're writing in while cooking dinner, doing ten loads of washing, all of that on top of worrying about how the fuck I was going to pay the bills, blamed for all the evils in the world, single parents, contempt spat at me, and thanks to the destruction of the nuclear family. Nuclear family? Seriously, that is a fucking perfect name for it. Because when that shit falls apart, it's like a nuclear explosion in your heart. And now, after my memorized poetry as well, well, I'm not fucking 